Today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian, and I'm streaming to you from beautiful Hungary here in Central Europe. I hope everybody is having a good and healthy start to their weekend. Uh, hi, Michael Fan. Hi, Boomi. I saw lots of members already joining into this class. Welcome. Uh, we will be continuing with speaking part three, finishing up our interview with that band nine. Hi, Rangana. Hi, Rajat. Flower, Sun, Alex, Joseph, Priyanka. Nice to see many of our regular students. Welcome. Uh, while we wait for a few more of your peers, this lesson is brought to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS success. Check us out there for general IELTS. Check us out at g-i-e-l-t-s-help.com. And again, I'm going to show you the free speaking option on the websites. I keep reminding you of this and I will continue to do so because it's one of the best ways to improve your speaking for free. So this is the academic website here uh, at aehelp.com. General IELTS looks the same with the green background. And then when you uh, get the premium package, click the red button or get the free package, click the green button. Uh, then you'll have a My Student account that you can log into at the top there. And then when you're in your My Student account on our website, you have this uh, student partner speaking. And you can click on that, uh, accept the agreement that you'll speak nicely with other students. And then uh, there will be a page where you will see other students looking for IELTS speaking partners. Right now, uh, we have Zahab, Elena, and Mohammed in here uh, practicing their speaking. Um, and you can send a text and say, hey, do you want to speak, uh, practice some IELTS? And then you can audio and video chat, just like with Skype. Hi, Rashika. Uh, so please use that. You also have um, some instructions there, and then you also have some speaking questions to choose from. There's 15 different uh, speaking scripts. Students, it's absolutely free, okay? 100% free, no ads, nothing, just use it. Improve your English speaking, okay? Work with other students. All right. Mohammed Azad says, I use it every day. And you know what, Mohammed? Good on you. I bet your speaking is improving rapidly because you're using it every day. And the nice thing too, students, is you'll meet with others from many different countries with different accents. So your listening skills will really improve by hearing other students with other English accents. And that will sharpen your listening skills. So that's a really good reason to use that. Did everybody catch that? Okay, just let me know if you understand. Yeah, Shiva, it's 100% free, okay? If you uh, sign up for the free version of the course, you can use it there and it's 100% free. Did everybody catch that? So if you're practicing your speaking with somebody from Turkey, the next day somebody from India, the next day somebody from Kazakhstan, the next day somebody from Germany, your ears will get better at catching English words, okay? So it's much more effective than always practicing speaking with somebody that has the same accent as you. Why is that important? Well, because English is an international language and because on the IELTS listening, the accents do tend to vary a little bit, okay? Yeah, Mohammed Azat, a student who uses this every day, is like, yeah, you're listening to different languages or different accents every uh, time, which is great. Okay, uh, so students, if you have questions, just send me an email, adrian at aehelp.com, and uh, I will happily answer any of your inquiries. You can get our exam books if you just want some practice exams from Amazon. A helps academic IELTS, G helps general IELTS, search for those titles. Uh, those are the exams that we use in these live classes too, so they're good to have to follow with us. Um, right now, students, speaking part three, 
And then uh, later today, I will post the schedule for live classes for next week. They will be Wednesday to Saturday uh, from uh, uh, 13.30 and 15 o'clock Central European time. So if you're on our channel, Academic English Help, uh, click the community uh, tab or uh, link, and then you'll see all of the speaking scripts, task two, task one, and you'll see the schedules as well, okay? All right, um, so students, let's get into a bit of talking. Uh, this is continuing from the class that I finished with our members and our viewers uh, 30 minutes ago. Uh, which was a speaking part two cue card uh, that asked you to talk about an important journey that had been delayed. And we talked about our journey to Gurjarat um, for our graduation ceremony, which had been delayed due to the COVID pandemic. And uh, now the examiner says, okay, uh, your time is up. Um, I'll take back the card with the questions, the note paper, and now we will continue with uh, part three. Hi, Jia Bao Hyun. There you are. Um, all right. So uh, the examiner will say, let's talk about managing challenging situations. Okay. Uh, first question, what is important to keep in mind when unexpected events affect planning? So what is important to keep in mind when unexpected events affect planning? Okay, give me a nice sentence uh, for that one. Okay, yeah, Roshni says, imperative planning should bear in mind uh, to take notes and receipts um, to get a refund if any hazardous situation occurs, as well as to stay in touch with friends um, and collect information. Okay, Roshni, uh, you have a bit of good information there. Watch your grammar. So uh, it's important to keep a record and uh, f to keep receipts so that if uh, an unexpected event happens, then we don't lose money. Uh, yeah, Roshni, that's good because we talked about that for the part two cue card, right? Very clever. All right. Um, Beckjohn says the first action is to think of the financial expenditure of the planning, like the train tickets, as I'd mentioned, so that people do not lose money. Very good, Beckjohn. Nice. Excellent. Good thinking. Good thinking. Zahab Metra says, well, every person has experienced some unfortunate incident in their life. Um, the best way is to just accept this fact uh, for being the way it is. Avoid stress and uh, don't fear about the future. Good, Zahab. I made a few corrections to make it more natural. Uh, when I repeat or read what you say, I'm correcting in real time. So please repeat me and pay attention to the time. It's 8 minutes 30 seconds into the class, Zahab, right now. So at around 8 minutes, you can check the response that you gave and my correction, and then you can compare that. Okay, so students, this is speaking, so make sure to speak and repeat. It is really important to practice this. Okay, Lokesh, I'm sure you'll get better than 5.5, Ben, but you need to use English, especially when you're in, in English live streaming class. Okay. All right. Uh, Saswati says, in an unexpected situation, it's important to keep calm and patient. It is most essential and uh, beneficial attitude uh, when people face these unexpected situations in life. In addition, people should try to make uh, why strategies to overcome the situation. Uh, Saswati, so good. Uh, students, don't repeat yourself, okay? So if you said in uh, unexpected situations, people should keep calm, then um, don't repeat yourself and say that the best attitude is to keep calm in unexpected situations. Uh, repeating yourself, it's um, kind of, it weakens communication. So don't repeat yourselves, okay? 
um, when there are <clears throat> unexpected occurrences, it's key to remember uh, to stay calm and decide on the best course of action to mitigate loss. A good idea in case of uh, traveling is to keep uh, receipts. Receipts. Um, so that uh, people can potentially uh, get their money back as I did with the uh, train tickets. Okay, all right, so um, reflecting on your part two is really important. That's why it's so important to uh, do a good job in part two uh, so that you can make these connections. Uh, just repeat after me. What is important to keep in mind when unexpected events affect, <clears throat> affect planning? When there are unexpected occurrences, it's key to remember to stay calm and decide on the best course of action to mitigate loss. A good idea in case of traveling is to keep receipts so that people can potentially get their money back as I did with the train tickets. Okay, so answer, explain, example, connection. Okay, um, and reflect the grammar of the question. When unexpected events affect planning, this is a real condition. So I'm using the real condition. When there are unexpected occurrences, I basically take this part of the question, I paraphrase a bit of it, the planning, um, and events, I paraphrase events for occurrences, and then I give an answer. So to decide on the best course of action to mitigate loss, the reason for my answer. Mitigate loss means to minimize or to control loss, okay? All right, uh, so then um, can you elaborate on this? So you'll often get this follow-up question in part three. Can you elaborate on this? It means, can you tell me more about this? So you should always be able to expand and tell the examiner more information. Okay. So Beck John says, yes, sure. When people buy a ticket, they have different options like transferring it or canceling it, which can be done online. This feature really helps during unexpected situations. That works, Beck John. Or oftentimes you can buy insurance, like for expensive plane tickets, right? Uh, these days, especially with the COVID, I guess that the plane companies will make a lot of money from the uh, insurance uh, policies. Hopefully that covers this kind of situation, right? I guess a lot of people will be buying insurance for their plane tickets over the next few months. So think about real situations and use those in your answers. Okay. Um, Amanjot Kaur says, yes, of of course I can. If there is death or a family member unexpect of a, any family member unexpectedly, then don't panic. Take a long, deep breath and try to take the best course of action. Yeah, Amanjot, I mean, that's probably one of the most difficult unexpected situations, but even in that case, it doesn't help to panic. I agree. Paya says, of course, two years back when I... Um, uh, failed to join my cousin's wedding in Dhaka. I called one of my friends, Disha, um, to borrow her car, and I reached the venue uh, in time. Okay, Paya, a little bit confusing there. Careful with the borrow and lend, 
All right. Okay, Zahab says, moreover, having, oh, I think you said something before then, Zahab. Let's see, there it is. Oh, now it's gone, Zahab. You took it away. <laughs> Abhishek says, yes, of course, as I mentioned uh, in the earlier part two, I bought five tickets for my train ride to visit Gujarat for my undergraduate convocation. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic delay, uh, this was uh, canceled. So I kept the receipts of the tickets and I was able to get either refund or reschedule the trip for a later date. Very good. All right. Um, sure. So can you elaborate on this? Yes, of course. Uh, when people panic, they tend to either focus on the negatives or lose control completely. However, uh, when they stay calm, uh, people usually come up with a variety of options uh, from which they can uh, choose the best strategy. In my case, I had remembered that I uh, read in the fine print when buying the train tickets that I can either get a refund or reschedule for a later date. Okay, repeat after me. So uh, again, let's go from the primary question, the first question. Uh, repetition, it's really important, students. Uh, let's do this nice and smooth and fast, okay? Here we go. What is important to keep in mind when unexpected events affect planning? When there are unexpected occurrences, it's key to remember to stay calm and decide on the best course of action to mitigate loss. A good idea in case of traveling is to keep receipts so that people can potentially get their money back as I did with train tickets. Can you elaborate? Yes, of course. When people panic, they tend to either focus on the negatives or lose control completely. However, when they stay calm, people usually come up with a variety of options from which they can choose the best strategy. In my case, I had remembered that I read in the fine print when buying the train tickets that I can either get a refund or reschedule for a later date. Okay? so. That would be uh, staying calm. Now, um, talking about staying calm, students, stay calm in your IELTS exam. Uh, the big reason is the same as what we mentioned here. You can just think better, make better choices, respond faster, okay? So uh, this goes for the IELTS exam also. All right, next question. I saw a couple more great answers, Rajveer Singh. That's a good answer as well. Um, we're going to move along here. So the next question is, uh, what are some common situations around the world that can suddenly influence people's planning? Okay, so what are some common situations around the world that can suddenly influence people's planning? Give me a nice full sentence answer for this question. Okay. So Seni Sarani says the death of a, a relative, a uh, sudden disaster uh, are events that can influence people's planning in many places around the world. Um, the most difficult is uh, the continuous effects of um, a natural disaster like an earthquake. Okay, right Seni? A right, little bit more. Okay, a little bit more. Murasa, 
Baraki says, that's an interesting question. Uh, the fundamental situations across the globe that affect individuals planning are natural disasters like floods, earthquakes, uh, pandemics like COVID-19 and accidents, uh, as I mentioned in my part two. Uh, yeah, Murasa, be careful. Uh, COVID-19 is not a natural disaster. It's a pandemic. It wouldn't be considered a natural p uh, disaster. So you have to say that, okay? Uh, a disease, a pandemic or an epidemic like COVID-19. All right. In your writing too, students, make sure that you have the right modifications and a list of answers, right? Um, otherwise, nice details, Marasa, that you said flood or an earthquake, okay? Amanjat says, well, there are a lot of different situations that affect one's planning, like the death of family members, vehicle problems, um, uh, floods and even unexpected guests. Okay, I'm on jot. Yeah, you're right. Uh, make sure to reflect the question to students. So common situations around the world that can suddenly. So uh, make sure to put that into your answer. Common situations around the world. Okay. Uh, Mustafa Oskaraya, Oskarakaya says, I would absolutely say that diseases which currently uh, we are struggling with globally uh, are common. Uh, unfortunately, schools, offices, cafes are closed. Um, okay, uh, that's one, Mustafa. Uh, when uh, you have uh, the plural situations, Mustafa, you want to give at least two, three, okay? So um, a disease, uh, an epidemic like COVID and, okay, car troubles, natural disasters so give at least two or three okay um and don't go off topic okay uh Jawan says most common situations around the world that can suddenly influence people's plans are uh somebody's sudden death or an illness uh very good Javon. okay so you're reflecting the question okay so uh, here is my answer with a bit of paraphrasing. Um, frequent uh, occurrences. It says that take place um, globally. So a nice way to paraphrase around the world is globally. Okay. Double R, occurrences. Okay, so frequent occurrences that take place uh, globally, which can have an immediate impact on individuals' uh, schedule. Notice this interesting um, uh, use of individual. Even though individual means one person, English is kind of crazy. You can put an S on it. And then you can put the apostrophe after the S, which means many individuals. So individuals, schedules uh, are natural disasters uh, like uh, floods, earthquakes, and uh, hurricanes. as well as uh, personal difficulties like car troubles or the unfortunate death of a loved one. All right. Uh, so again, repeat after me. What are some common situations around the world that can suddenly influence people's planning? Now notice how people's, it's the apostrophe is between the E and the S because people is plural, right? So here we go. Uh, frequent occurrences that take place globally, which can have an immediate impact on individual schedules or natural disasters like floods, earthquakes, and hurricanes, as well as personal difficulties like car trouble, or the unfortunate death of a loved one. 
All right. Uh, now, the follow-up question. Uh, which of these is the most difficult to deal with and why? Okay, that's the follow-up here. Again, you don't have to give the right answer, just give a good answer. So all of these can be difficult. Okay, uh, so choose one and explain it. Okay, so Beck John says, in my eyes, of course, quarantine is the most challenging one. Uh, since it not only cancels all flights and trains, but also all important events. Hmm, okay. Roshni Kunte says, well, all are imperative, but if I have to say the natural disasters are the most crazy and devastating, which can change uh, plans, a person may have uh, shelter uh, or may have to seek shelter to survive like during a, a cyclone or an earthquake. Yeah, Roshni, I agree. Natural disasters, I think, would be a good choice here. Okay. All right, Aman Jot says, well, according to me, death of a family member is very difficult to deal with because there are so many attachments to our uh, family members. Uh, so it's an extremely difficult emotional uh, situation which can be uh, unbearable. Okay, I'm going to jot a couple of corrections there. Okay. Uh, Alex Joseph says, I would venture to say that a tsunami is one of the most difficult disasters um, as they are unpredictable and difficult to deal with because it completely destroys the cityscape and... Uh, negatively impacts the population, causing injury and death. Right. Okay. Alfred Ekera says, the unfortunate death of a loved one is the most difficult to deal with because of the void that is left in a person's soul, Alfred. Okay. Nice use of the word void, V-O-I-D. The void that is left is irreparable, yeah, is unfillable, okay? It cannot be filled. A void is like a giant hollow hole that has no end. Uh, Bumi says the most arduous situation, nice use of the word arduous, Bumi. The most arduous situation, in my opinion, is na a natural disaster since it does not only affect the individual's life but also the society as well and has long-term consequences. Yeah, sure. Turk, nice to see you in class. Turkberry says, uh, usually it is difficult to justify how anyone might be able to go through these difficult times. However, the death of a loved one is truly unbearable and irreparable, um, unlike the other examples. Yeah, okay, good. Some good answers there. All right. Now, in the IELTS students, um, you know, some questions might emotionally affect people. Uh, try to keep your emotions out of the exam. Uh, it doesn't mean be like a robot, but also don't be nostalgic, okay? So if, you, you know, most of us, uh, by the time we're adults, have lost a loved one in our lives. Uh, some of us have experienced natural disasters. Uh, try not to get too emotional, Okay, <clears throat> so you can definitely buy yourself a bit of time with some leading expressions like, wow, that's a tough question to answer. But if I had to say, I would claim that the most arduous of these is a natural disaster. because um, it not only, nice use of that correlative conjunction, not only affects the individual, but also the surrounding society. So there can be a lack of physical and emotional uh, 
uh, support in such situations, uh, such as um, after an earthquake, A person may feel scared and may be injured and there is simply no one to come to the rescue. Rescue. In order for plans to get back on track, it may take weeks, if not months. Okay, um, so uh, repeat after me. Here's my answer. Uh, again, remember to focus on the question and not go off track. Um, so which of these is the most difficult to deal with and why? And we're still talking about um, challenges in planning and scheduling as well. So here's the answer. Repeat after me, wow, that's a tough question to answer, but if I had to say, I would claim that the most arduous of these is a natural disaster because it not only affects the individual, but also the surrounding society. So there can be a lack of physical and emotional support in such situations, such as after an earthquake, <clears throat> a person may feel scared and may be injured and there is simply no one to come to the rescue. Uh, in order for plants to get back on track, it may take weeks, if not months, after such a catastrophic event. Okay. Next question. How has technology helped in managing the influence of unforeseeable effects on scheduling? So, of course, don't be surprised, students. Uh, that the questions do tend to get more and more difficult as uh, the examiner moves through part three. There will be more and more uh, challenging vocabulary or unfamiliar vocabulary. If at this point you can't catch the question, don't freak out. It's okay. Uh, ask for a repeat. It's okay to ask uh, to repeat once or twice in part three. Um, if you didn't catch the question, it's definitely better than talking nonsense and going off topic. So how has technology helped in managing the influence of unforeseeable effects on scheduling? Okay, so here you might say, well, sorry, can you repeat that question? I didn't quite catch that. Okay, sure. How has technology helped in managing the influence of unforeseeable effects on scheduling okay Kabir if you'd like to book one-on-one -on -one speaking sessions with me you can do that in your my student account through gltshelp.com or aehelp.com okay all right uh, give me a nice answer for this one Amanjot says, well, technology is a boon for human beings. It helps uh, in many contexts, like uh, checking weather conditions, alerting us of the possibility of a natural disaster, and uh, it helps us to reach others in emergency situations um, using the mobile phone to call the fire department or the police. Right, Amanjot? So a little bit more. You're definitely on the right track. Uh, you're using boon. Uh, nicely there as a, a, a device which assists uh, people. Just a little bit more detail. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Bekjan says, I guess the advancement in technology has helped a lot in controlling the ramifications of unanticipated impacts on plans since people can reschedule uh, much faster than in the past. Nowadays, um, there are... Uh, websites that help us to adjust schedules as we're in the past people had to uh, call uh, or send mail right which was a lot slower yeah and I saw that you finished the idea as well uh, back John which is good 
Ali Ishmaili says, well, it's a tough question. However, if I had to say, as technology develops, numerous applications and gadgets are invented, which can inform us about the weather, uh, future emergencies, uh, as well as inform others about our changing circumstances. Yeah, Kaylee, good. Turk says, recently it came to my attention that many uh, seismographs are being installed and uh, seismometers, seismographs are being installed and um, the current lockdown has proven uh, to check natural earthquake movements. Uh, Turk, I think you're trying to express something interesting that's happening in seismology around the world, but be careful not to get lost. Make sure you stay clear, okay? Uh, Rajveer Singh says, technology has come in handy to minimize the impact of unforeseeable occurrences on planning as people use mobile applications and websites not only to refund their travel tickets, but also to reschedule their journey faster using these apps and to inform others uh, of the changes of plans. Yeah, absolutely, Rajveer. Very nice question. Very high level. It would be a solid band 8.59 as long as you say it clearly and quickly. Uh, Lambda says, actually, I think um, that with choices and information uh, technology can provide us, we always have an alternative solution. Very good, Lambda. I'm going to borrow from you. Uh, so um, I think that modern tech has uh, greatly aided people in navigating unexpected impacts on plans um, by providing people with more choices and connections than ever before. I mean, now people uh, can go online to cancel or reschedule their uh, travels and engagements immediately as well as reach out to people and inform them of the situation. Okay, all right. So, uh, nice answers, students. I'm just borrowing from what you've said. Uh, repeat after me, I'm putting it together. How has technology helped in managing the influence of unforeseeable effects on scheduling? I think that modern tech has greatly aided people in navigating unexpected impacts on plans by providing people with more choices and connections than ever before. I mean, now people can go online to cancel or reschedule their travels and engagements immediately, as well as reach out to people and inform them of the situation. Okay, uh, I'm using the question. Importantly, I'm reflecting the present perfect. So the question asks, how has technology, okay, and I'm saying tech has greatly aided, helped people, all right? So I'm reflecting that right away. And then comes the follow-up question. Now, if you gave examples, the examiner might not ask you for examples, but if you haven't, definitely they may. Uh, so can you give some examples? And now, if you did give some examples and the examiner asks you anyway, can you give some examples? then give some more examples, okay? That's the trick, so give some more examples. All right, so, uh, Zahab says, well, I think there are a lot of examples, um, like missing a flight is one of them. Technology can uh, help with this. Um, for example, after seven hours of uh, getting a mail and not miss it. 
Okay, Zahab, I'm not exactly clear. You might want to rephrase that. I read it. It's a little bit confusing. Um, so Hot Patel is asking, can I say there are many? Uh, no, because technology is a non-count noun, tec uh, technically speaking, Het. So you have to say there is much technology in the world or there is a lot, but you can't say there are many technology in the world. Okay. It's a non-count noun, technology. Okay. All right. Um, Beck John says, yeah, sure. A manager who has a meeting in about two or three days can notify members of the board of the uh, changed plans and even conduct uh, the meeting through Skype or Zoom. Uh, these opportunities were just simply not available in the past. Beautiful example. Uh, Beck John, just take something from the real world today where a lot of us are rescheduling and hosting our meetings or even classes like this one uh, through the internet so we don't have to make physical contact. Um, and all of this is being powered by modern technology, right? Okay, good job. Fatih Sali says, yeah, sure. As I mentioned before, people can utilize social media and some applications like uh, WhatsApp, Viber, and Skype to reach their families or friends um, to be informed about the situation. Very good. Okay, great job. Nicely done. So certainly. In addition to the examples that I gave regarding my train ticket, um, people can also use communication apps uh, like uh, Skype and WhatsApp, which enable audio and video conferencing to reach out to others as in the case of uh, a CEO who informs um, their board about a reschedule, rescheduled meeting, which is to be held uh, using Zoom. This would not have been uh, possible a few decades ago. All right. So there's my answer. Um, give, uh, please repeat after me. Here we go. Uh, can you give some examples? Certainly, in addition to the examples that I gave regarding my train ticket, uh, people can also use communication apps like Skype and WhatsApp, uh, which enable audio and video conferencing to reach out to others, as in the case of a CEO who informs their board about a rescheduled meeting, which is to be held using Zoom. This would not have been possible a few decades ago. All right. Um, Hat Patel, thank you for that compliment and feedback. I appreciate that. Okay, cool. So uh, I'm going to stop there for today. Here are a few more questions for you to practice on your own. Let's talk about personal management skills. What life skills can help people stay in control of unplanned situations? Where can people learn these? Uh, some people believe that keeping emotions under control is essential when dealing with new and challenging situations. Do you agree with this? Why? Or why not? Okay. Uh, try these questions on your own. Uh, record it on your phone. Record your answers. Uh, send them to me by email in an MP3 attachment, adrian at aehelp.com. And I'll give you a band score estimate for your speaking, roughly what you can get. Our band score estimates are pretty accurate. Students usually tell us that uh, we're either exactly right or just half a band away. So try those questions. You can see those questions again if you want later. Uh, when you come back to the channel and look for this video. 
And uh, to get all of our videos, to get HD video lessons with me, other teachers, also uh, practice exams, again, to use that free uh, student partner speaking function, uh, please uh, visit us at aehelp.com for academic IELTS and gieltshelp.com for general IELTS. Uh, great work, Bekjun. Uh, you are most welcome. Bumi, you're welcome. Uh, Amanjat, copy that. Fantastic. Nawal, you're super, super welcome. Uh, thanks, everybody, for being here. Have a great uh, rest of your weekend, and I will be back on Wednesday at the same time. Stay safe, stay strong, stay confident. Much love from Budapest. Bye for now.